Okay, so this is weird. On my list here, I have this random name. It says Austin Live and Good. Shout out to you. Now, um, this level is from Chris Q. And it's Tom's One Screen Puzzle Deluxe Number One. Let's do it. Ooh, it's from the Brit. Uh, oh my god. Future self, go in and say what flag that is so I don't look stupid. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I think I did. I think I failed that right away, sir. I think this is slightly bigger than one screen, but okay. I don't think I was supposed to do that. Well, maybe. Well, no, because I can't do anything over here. Hang on a second. It pretty much is one screen. Alright then, let's see. Do we, I guess we have to figure out how to get the shell to the end, because when you look up there, there's piranha plants. It doesn't look like I can... Well, this would kill the piranha plants, though. Or would it, actually? No, it probably wouldn't, because they're on a railing. Well, thank goodness this is Super Mario World. I'm trying to think here. How am I going to get that spring out of here? I'm gonna get what's in this question block here. Huh. Oops. Alright. Alright, what's the deal over here? Hmm. This is rather strange. What, what happened last time when I did this? It's not gonna bounce off of anything. Uh. I'm guessing, well here, hang on. Take this. Well, I did a lot of good. <laughs> so did that. Okay, so apparently throwing stuff isn't the answer. Um, let's see here. Oops. I think I lost my Koopa shell. I wish I could just climb these. Hang on a second, what if I... I got an idea. I totally know how to cheese this. Watch this. Wait, 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 no, set it down. Right. Up here, like this. And, oh, there's a thing there. Okay. Wait, it might not be as easy as I think. Hang on. Oh, dude, for a second I thought I would totally figured out how to cheese it. I should have known better. And this isn't killing these things, so that's not the answer. Looks like I need to get the shell up here, but... Well, I can get the P-switch down. Oh, I wonder... I wonder, wonder, who ba doo doo who who wrote the Book of Love. What if... Can I do that thing I did in the other level where I, like, <laughs> set this down? Well, that wouldn't really do any good. What I'm really trying to do is get the P back to the other side. And I can do that if I do this. Yeah, see there? But what does that do for me, though, is the question. Because I'm not seeing much here. What does the piece of which do in general, though? Oh, it turns those blocks into coins. There is that. Alright then, let's see here. I honestly don't think there was anything in that question block at the beginning. I don't see how you could possibly get anything over there. I can see how, like, a mushroom might come out of it, and then the mushroom goes to the right and you pick it up. A big deal. Even a mushroom's not a... I mean, what else could the question block possibly be? I think it's a red herring. What? I didn't mean to do that. There's no way I can get rid of those plants. I mean, I, let's say I use the shell to kill the plants. Then the shell would be stuck up there. Wait, no it wouldn't. Not if I hit the piece switch, it wouldn't. Hang on. Are we putting something together here? I think we might just be. The question is, how am I going to hit the piece switch? Alright, we're just going to do this simple here. 
Shit, see, that's what I was afraid of. Oh, and when you jump up there, you're stuck up there. Huh. This question block is driving me crazy. Why in the world is that there? Would it be possible for me... Oh, wait, what, what if I did this? Aha! Okay. Now, hang on a second. Before we do anything else... Nothing else is gonna open up that's gonna get us back. I need to get that PAL lock, because otherwise I can't finish the stage. Alright, that sound is getting a little annoying. Oh, hey, look at this. Hang on a minute here. Is there even room? There is. Okay. Oh, a viewer- Oh, I thought I would pick up the shell. Maybe I wasn't holding Y. <sighs> okay, alright, alright, alright. Let's just do as much as we can first, and then work it out from there. So, boing. There we go. Okay, and then get the P-switch. I guarantee you this is not how this is meant to be done, but... Shall to kill the fish. But then, there's the chomper. And there's another question block all the way over there. These question blocks have gotta be red herrings, man. How do I kill you? I know how to kill you, but then I won't be able to get back if I do. Unless somehow... I don't know. I can't get back, period, anyway. Okay, I got the rest of this except for one thing. I need that spring up there. I need to somehow get that spring down here. With that spring, I can go back. Throw the PAL switch. Yeah. I got this. If I can just figure out how to get this spring. Oh. Uh, but how the hell am I going to do it? Throwing it over there is not going to do any good. I mean, no matter what I do, I don't think I can get it. These one-way fucks, I'm telling you. I can't get this out of here. <laughs> I love this comment here. Let me show it to you. It says, Eh? <laughs> hmm. There's no way to get that frickin' spring out of there. There must be something... Once again, there's something that I don't know that you can do. What is this question block here? Oh my god! Ugh! Do I maybe have to do this out of order or something? Oh, this really bothers me. This should be simple. This is one screen, man. One screen is all this is. It's not like it's Kaizo or anything. It's not cheap. It's not unfair. It's just me being stupid is basically all it is. And I still don't think I'm doing the P-Switch thing right either. I feel like maybe... <sighs> this is another one of those cases where I feel like if I could figure out how to use the P-Switch correctly, maybe I could do the rest of it as well. I hate that I'm doing this, but it's been about 20 minutes now, and I mean, ain't got all day. <laughs> ain't got all day to wait around for my stupid ass to figure this out. Eh. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Eh. Easy. Oh. This is White Emerald from YouTube. I said you would be the first I would. Cool. Follow you are. Your levels are hard. Well, let me see something. This guy that finished it over here, he took the spring, and where did he put it? He used the spring. Oh, that's true. You need the spring to get up there, don't you? 
Well, I thought, wow, how do you even carry all that stuff through there? It's one at a time, I guess. I didn't even think about that, but yeah, you would need the spring to make that last jump, wouldn't you? So my guess is you would... But that's the thing, you would have to use the spring to jump up. I mean, if, uh, you could use the pow to jump up and take the spring with you, but then how would you ever get the P-switch to hit? I mean, there has to be a way to do it. There has to be. It can't just not be doable, because... The laws of God and nature and Mario Maker... That was a rhyme. Don't allow for that. So, okay, here's the thing. Fact number one, and this is a fact... This has never been disputed in any way. You can't walk through these things, nor... Well, you can carry items through them. Oh, wait a minute. I've already tried this multiple times, but I know for a fact, if you throw something over here, it just, it's gone, you know. So there's no point to throwing anything over there. There's nothing to gain by throwing anything over there. I also know for a fact that I can't get anything down, including myself, through these things. I know that. That is a fact. You can't do that. So the only other thing you can do is throw it here, in which case it's gone forever. Unless something is going on on the left side of the screen there that I'm not seeing or something. That's got to be what it is. It's got to be some stupid shit like that. You know, it's got to be something like that. See how far... Yeah. I keep thinking maybe if I can throw it far enough, it'll come out on the bottom, you know? Like, like maybe there's something over there, a conveyor belt or something that I can't see. But which fact have I got wrong here? There's no way. I mean, there is no way you can get the spring out of there. This is not complicated. There is nothing else to this. You can't take it out of there. Unless I'm supposed to glitch it through the wall? No. I don't know, man. Here, let me see. Let me just see if by any chance this is on YouTube. Okay, guys. So here we go. I decided to actually look this up on YouTube. And turn that down. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I looked it up on YouTube, and you know what? I'm glad I did. I'm very glad I did, because there is some shit in this level that, like, I had no idea this was coming. So, here's the thing. Alright. First off, this pal block here. You can actually pick this up without walking all the way through the one-way fuck, and you can bring it back over here. Okay. Now, what we want to do is... We want to set it down right about there. Perfect. We don't want to, like, trigger this platform to fall, because we will need it, believe it or not. Okay, so now that we've done that, we have to semi-jump for the spring. This is the thing that I couldn't figure out, the biggest thing. And if you stand on this pal block here, it actually won't trigger the platform to fall. So now, if you jump at just the right height, you can grab the spring without see without going through the platform. Man, I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay. Now we have to be careful that we don't trigger this platform, so let's keep keep an eye on that. I really wish I could make safe states. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, come on. There's one screen, Tim. You should be able to do this. Now, we're here we're going to have to do the same thing. We're going to have to semi-jump to get this pal without triggering that platform. Alright, so... And we're gonna, what we're going to do is put it on the right platform. So, let me see if I can do this. There might be a lot of cutting involved in this. Okay, that's good. Okay, and then we want to basically take it. Shoot, hang on a second. This spring is not... No, I'm afraid if I throw it up, it's going to activate. We don't want to activate it. There we go. That's good. Okay, that's going to be there for a while. All right, now. And we can, once again, we can use the POW block as a plat... Shoot! You're not supposed to hold B. Now we gotta start over. <laughs> okay. We're on top. Wait, did we need to do that first? Yeah. 
Man, I don't like the placement of that really well, but... Yeah, you can pretty much a place through the one way, so... Yeah, there's so many little mistakes you can make here. Okay. Well, actually, we can just do that. Alright. And then, um... Yeah, okay. Now we need to get across here, but... We don't want to trigger these platforms to fall, so make sure you jump here. And there's not, I mean, there's not too much to worry about. It's not like stuff is out to kill you or anything. So our next goal is going to be to get the Koopa up on top here. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what you have to do. I don't like where this P-switch is right now, because I'm going to hit it. If I... Shit! Okay, that's much better. So let me grab the P-switch here. Let's try to be more careful with how we do this. Just set it down here. That way we can set this here. And once again, make sure we don't trigger these platforms. I didn't mean to take that with me, but okay, I guess it's not a big deal. In fact, I could just put this up here, couldn't I? I don't want to take any chances on hitting it, is the problem. So anyway, bring the switch back through here. Alright. Now, here's the really weird part, okay? Let me see. I gotta stop saying okay, you know? So what we want to do here, uh... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Like, seriously, this is the part I'm worried about. I've never done anything like this before. No! There you go. I say you keep the P down here, but I really don't see the point. It seems more smart to leave it over here. Of course, what do I know? <laughs> okay, let me try this one more time here. So you gotta be very careful about where you stomp this guy. Right there. Now you wanna set the spring down, like right next to the shell, and watch what happens. See that? Now we got him up on the top. Now what we need to do is trap him up there. So, oh boy, this is gonna be tricky. See now why they put the P-switch there? So anyway, what we wanna do... One more time. Okay, throw the P-switch here. That traps him in. Now, okay, let's see. Okay, it didn't do anything. So we wanna put the shell actually up here like this. So we wanna get him to reunite with it, and now... I guess you can figure out what we have to do after that. What? Wow, dude. You really balls that up, didn't you? I wonder if I can just set this down, like, right from here. See, the problem last time was I couldn't walk. I was trying to walk to the right to fall down, and it wouldn't let me walk through the P-switch. So... Alright, let's not be making chaos here. <laughs> okay, so now that we got a little bit of peace time here, let's put the shell up here where he belongs. And now, now we can do what we were trying to do before, which is this. Yeah, how messed up is that? And once again, we have another shot here. It's only taken me like a minute or so to do this now, to get to this point, so it's not too much of a big deal. Bingo. Okay. Now we have a Koopa shell on the right, a live Koopa on the left. Okay. So we can finally we can finally get rid of this platform here, which is one thing. So now we have a situation here. <laughs> this is crazy. I can't believe I'm describing. This is definitely going to be its own video. Throw the other spring over. And then what? And then use the other shell to kill the piranhas? We do that now? We can finally do that. Nice. Okay. Let's not die here, please. Thank you. Okay, see, we still have the pal up here set up nicely for us. And now, finally, we can do this. Boom. But now, we got a problem. Boring, 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 boring. We still don't want to 
we need the spring over there or over here? Well, actually, I guess it doesn't matter. If we need it, we can just grab it. But now, we hit the P-switch. So we finally hit this freaking P-switch. And this will... turn those blocks into coins. Now, there's not like a race for time or anything, so don't worry. Now here's the thing. We're gonna have to do this trick again with the Koopa. The same trick we did before. With the uh, trampoline. We're gonna have to do it again. Because we need to get this guy over there. Okay. We're gonna need him to stomp to get up there later. Because otherwise there's no other way we're gonna get up there. Because we're gonna need to bring the spring with us, right? And I was saying before, well, how are you supposed to do that? This is how you do it. Anyway, so. Oh, I'm getting sick of that sound. Oh, okay, okay. So now we get his shell. And we're gonna be nice. We're gonna take it over to him. Not throw it at him. Just take it to him. Okay. Then we bring the trampoline over. Yeah, this is gonna take some tricky placement here. Okay, because we don't want to kill the little guy. So make sure you don't do that. Mmm, that works out. Now we just get rid of this other shell. Boom. Thank God. Now we can rest easy. We got 174 seconds on the clock. Should be plenty of time. Now, don't kill Naked Koopa. We didn't do that. Throw up the trampoline. Really? Now? Hang on. How exactly? Wait a minute. I'm not understanding this right. Throw up trampoline. So I assume I can do that from down here. Then stomp the Koopa to get the pal block and bring it up. Huh. Well, that's a little tricky, but I, we're gonna have to do it. So what exactly are we doing now? We're bringing the spring up, okay. Okay, just make sure you don't kill this little guy. Shit! <laughs> what? What? Ah, I guess I was supposed to bring the pal down first. There's not enough space down there for all that, man. Got the shells. Now we gotta do this part. So what I think I need to do is grab the pal without triggering the platform. Put it down, throw the spring up, grab the pal, jump up with the Koopa. Because we need both the pal and the spring up here. Okay, so, um... We can see where he is from down here. Now we're gonna grab the pal, and we're not gonna do anything with it. Perfect. Don't... Shit. Shit! Boom. I think I just did it. Okay. Or at least I got the worst of it out of the way anyway. So then we just want to toss the spring up like so. No. I might want to do it from here. Perfect. Now we just finally need... Boom! Okay, we done it. Alright, that's pretty much the worst of it now. Set this down. Take this. Now keep in mind, there's a platform there, like you can't... Oh, I'm sitting down, by the way, so if my voice is... Yeah, I had to sit down because I'm like, jeez. Throw the spring up. Now we're going to pick up the pal. Now don't set the pal down in here anywhere because it's going to bounce off the springs and go crazy and you don't want that. I need the pal to take care of... fish in the plant. After that, we bring the spring, and this is why we need the spring, because we have this final jump to make. Can't exactly do it without the spring, can you? And boom. ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da Donut lips, take me home. You've got to be out of your mind. 
Why in the hell did I stick with that for as long as I did? I have no idea! But holy crap. I'm speechless. I am speechless, guys. NCS was here. Exit. Not one of my better comments. Okay. Because I can throw that piece of paper away now. Jeez Louise, man. Apparently he's got more than one of these. I'm curious, but... But you know what? <laughs> maybe I'm not. I think maybe we've had enough of that for one day. Good lord.